Thanksgiving really is not complete unless you have a Libby's Famous Pumpkin Pie. Everybody has been making this for generations, my family included. I can remember as a little kid making the Libby's Famous Pumpkin Pie with my grandma. So I wanna show you today how easy it is to put together. So we're gonna start with three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. To that, I'm going to add a half of a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a half of a teaspoon of ground ginger, and a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cloves. Now stir this up. Oh, this smells amazing. Now if you don't have all those seasonings, you can certainly use pumpkin pie spice. Okay, now that it's combined, I'm going to beat two large eggs in this medium bowl. Okay, to this I'm going to add Libby's Pure Pumpkin. I love this pumpkin. So I'm gonna stir this until it's nice and smooth. And get my exercise while doing it. <laughs> and I can have one more piece of pie. Okay, so this is what you want it to look like. Now I'm going to stir in the sugar spice mixture until it's nice and smooth. Okay. Now I'm going to gradually add our carnation evaporated milk. I'm just counting the days until Thanksgiving in my next pie. So once this is nice and smooth and all combined, I'm going to transfer it into a four cup volume pie shell. And I already have that here. It needs to be deep dish to hold the volume. Okay, here is the pie crust. I'm just gonna add it. Add the filling to the crust. So this will bake at 425 for 15 minutes and then the temperature of the oven needs to be reduced to 350, and then it needs to bake for another 40 to 50 minutes, or just until a knife inserted into the center comes out clean, and that's really it. Let it cool for two hours before serving. So this is what it looks like. It is gorgeous, and I cannot wait to dig into this one. So happy baking.